to be honest, I'm a little worried about being here today to talk about Bob Ray because can we be sure, ladies and gentlemen, that he's really retired from public life? Can we be sure that there isn't one more chapter? I mean, I would have thought the last one was improbable, uh, although it was done in typical Bob Ray fine fashion, but can we be sure? And as a result, I'm going to have to limit my comments today just in case. I mean, really, the question is, who is this piano-playing, fun-loving, collegial man who voters would have said at a certain point in Ontario's history would have us all cutting sugar cane for the course of the summer uh, for entertainment and, uh, and vacation? But you know what? Bob Ray is uh, a, a decent, a fun-loving um, human being. He's a person that my mentor and my friend Bill Davis, who was the Premier of Ontario for, for so long, would say that a guy you could work with, a guy you could sit with, a guy you could talk with, a guy you could enjoy spending time with, would be Bob Ray, and he's right about that. There are people out there who are sort of worried, Bob, that this is a part of your uh, farewell tour, but it isn't. And, and you see, I know that it's a farewell tour, but the reason I'm not worried about it is because I figure it this way. You've been the leader of the New Democratic Party, You've been the leader of the Liberal Party. Assuming the Greens may have too long a time horizon for you to sort of have any time left to enjoy life with Arlene and the girls, I figure that means there's only one choice left, and that's the Progressive Conservative Party. So if the farewell tour isn't really farewell, but rather until next time, then I know where you're going to end up. How do you place a, a value on a place like this? It's a big city. I mean, we know that. Uh, but it's a big city full of small communities. And, you know, while the Capuchin Community Arts Centre isn't small, I mean, it is in its own way, but it's big because it has hundreds of kids, and it's big because of the role that it plays in the lives of these kids and their families, introducing them to the arts, bringing them together through the universal language of the arts that we all share a joy in music and in the visual arts and even karate. So I think that that's why the Cabbage Town Community Arts Centre is such an important part of our city and such an important part of bringing people together, especially those who are newer to our city and to our country.